Any further questions? So there's a Merrimack Valley motion for the Merrimack Valley Housing Report. Can I move it? Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Is there a second? Second. Second by Bob. Here. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Yes. Okay. Letters. I, I don't have a problem with it. I, um, I now what do we do, um, Melinda? How do we follow up with this? Because we all, you know, want them to get involved, and, and, and we really, particularly what's happening with the, the immigration, um, and we have the land, but I, often we send letters to the, to the congresswoman, everybody, and we never hear a bloody thing. And I think they just deep six, and I don't know what they do with it, but they get so much, I'm sure, that they don't get. So, do we have any, we're going to have a game plan how to follow up on this, because we're going to, I mean, at least we have some land available, we don't have to purchase land. Well, I, oh, I just, my, my feelings are that I think they might be down the road some money that comes available, uh, but it'll be for, I would guess, for mostly family units, um, whether or not, um, right or not. I'm just mm -hmm. guessing based on the Democratic government. Usually, if you get that, mm -hmm. you get you know Republican governor, you get some elderly housing, Democrats or family, you know, they have got a mix. You know what I mean? Well, so I'm just that's just a thought. I, I don't have that. any inside information on that. Just, just uh, based on what I've seen in the past. That's I don't, I don't have any inside information, but I do know, like particularly in the cities, that that a lot of the elderly that have been on waiting lists are getting kicked down the road because of the immigration on vacancies. About that part, we're going to be talking about. I have not. I don't know. Maybe it's not for me. Is that a point? Like, what, what's worth the task? I just don't know how you um, get, put a fire under them to get them to. Because we know that it's, it's like a school. You're not going to see it, but I may not be alive by the time you have. Have we heard from, uh, <laughs> <laughs> have we heard back from, uh, who set the, um, the people who did the study, I'll be the back in the morning. We haven't heard anything more from them. It's all about funding now. Not yeah, right. all, yeah, all about funding. That would be fine, right? Yeah, I think it's... Uh, yes, I don't know who's there now. So I don't know if there we... Um, well, how about CPI? Well, they wouldn't give us... I don't see... I, I mean, as far as getting people placed, I suppose, it's section yeah, 8. They probably should cut up. Yeah, I don't... I don't yeah. Yeah. When they were talking to us, <coughs> excuse me, didn't they uh, talk about a partnership um, with um, like a CTI, one of those types of groups? Was that mentioned in the proposal? Something along those lines? Am I right or wrong? I don't I thought maybe that was part of the case. I'm not, don't we just live mass housing? Maybe not mass housing, but. I didn't say that sounds like I said uh, CTI, but that, that type of a group that um, you get a partnership with the folks and they get lots of housing. Uh, but it would they, Back before you were on the board, when Rick was on the board, he had a meeting with some people that were like somewhat affiliated with CTI, but their whole thing is, is it sounded more like we wouldn't be putting people that are on our wait list in those units they would be filling the unit. So basically, they'd build them and fill them on our property. It, Correct. It, went, yeah. it wouldn't be getting we'll people that are, are on our wait list. So, which some of them are going to wake up Yeah, which some of the people on our wait list could have been on their list, but don't know. Yeah. So that's why it never went anywhere, because that's not what we wanted. We wanted right. to people we had a list. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just don't know. Well, you know what? Um, how about if we leave this on the agenda for the next meeting? I do have a connection to the state representative. You can you may ask a question or two, um, and then we can see based on those answers what we, what we want to do. She might be able to come in and give us a reality check on yes, no. Um, now maybe all the housing is going to be built by them, and but although I saw them building some stuff down the Cape, all the way down there, um, but um, I suspect it's going to go to the cities because of the immigration issues. Yeah. So we're we're not going to be a problem there. 
this, to do it, and that's fine. I'd rather not be the trouble that you do what's been what this kind of all over because I want to take care of the people on our way to this. I mean, if, if, if we, had, we ask um, the director to send a follow up letter, then the board was asking for a response. Now, do we send the follow up letter? Uh, we we'll send it to the. What's the date? Uh, do we send it to the state? Do we send it to. Uh, well, these letters went to the. I know, they went to the office. They went to the center and the conference. Yeah. So, um, maybe just have to ask Kwame to come in and say, now what is the best way to have an abrupt to go? Yeah. Or so, do you think it's even feasible? Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I can do that for sure. I can, I can ask her to do that. I know she wanted yeah. to come back and speak to us anyway. Uh, yeah. Um, I had heard from her about going on the agenda for this meeting, so. Well, I don't think I need letters back on this. I don't yeah. think we no, can. No, I just meant the, I mean, the discussion yeah. under old business. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. And then awesome. you can reach out to see if she will come as part of that discussion. Right. Uh, maybe you can invite the candidate for a sign. I, I, yeah, I, I oh, don't know. Oh, really? I, yeah, I will. Maybe can. Oh, I mean, they have age. Yeah, yeah, send someone. Because they may just say, don't, don't waste your time. It's probably silly. Yeah, right. uh, and I don't want to really, but if they, I kind of like to watch Sleeping Dogs Live, they don't know we have plans. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to let them know. That sounds terrible, but just curious how we, how we follow that up. So, I'll make a motion to accept the correspondence. Second. Who would be the most perfect to address first? Would be the state? the state rep because she I, I've had that's where the money is well and she she's the closest that we can reach out to and she will come. She does, you know, she does respond. I I, yeah, I don't think a lot of your hand would come but she might send <laughs> someone and, and can they I, you know we can put maybe next year or collection year. It's the best I can reach out to him. Now when you're talking about the state you're talking about uh, calling Gary or yeah. Trahan. Uh, I don't she's got yeah. both her hand and I don't think we're going to get any federal housing anyway. No, we're not federal. Well, we don't have oh. any federal. That's why her letter was a little bit different than the other yeah. two by saying that we don't have federal, but we would be open to. Yeah. And that's an incentive. Mm -hmm. uh, except I don't know, and you would know this better, um, I, the criteria as far as the waiting, do we have to take? Two separate lists because they have two separate rules and regulations. I mean, I don't think it to reach out to the Congress. Well, never hurts. I mean, if they won't forget them anyway, we're dealing with all of them. So hopefully, we'll get a response back. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm just starting. I just don't want to fall through the cracks. And he's just kind of went out. So, I mean, I would assume that we'll get a response back. Hopefully, at some point, right? Sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That works. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. All right. Moving on, item F. Mm -hmm. the executive director of school report. Mm -hmm. So we have um, three vacancies, the two that were on before because I had to pull another list. Um, other vacancies for the lady that moved over to Red Pine, um, and that, uh, as long as everything goes well, will be completed this week. Um, so when I pull the new list for the other two, it's pulled for that one as well. Um, I'm sure you probably read the article that was in the Lowell Sun the other day about the whole housing thing that people are pulling list after list, and that's what we're running through too. There's no one responds, so then you have to pull another list of, of applicants. Um, as of today, the state has made changes. Um, they've got a company coming on board, but until they get through their whole process, we're still having to pull the list and go through their. I, did, I didn't read that. I actually I didn't see that. But is that because um, because of the centralized waiting list? Is that yeah. why people aren't responding? 
Well, the central, that, that was the big thing. Housing authorities liked it better when they had their own list. Because you'd get the people qualified before they were put on the list. They did this whole centralized list. That way, anybody could apply anywhere in the United States from their house. It, but it's become a big issue because people are going on there and they're, they're just checking off all the boxes. Then when you go to qualify them, they realize, well, you're in Tainsboro? Where's Tainsboro? Well, that's not close to my job or this or that. So then they, yeah, that's what happened with these high school apartments. The people were going to come in here and then they realized, well, I don't have a car. I got, how am I going to get around? Or it's going to be too far for my work. Long bus. <laughs> Does the bus come down at all? Only it only goes to Aot, so the people that live over at Red Pine can walk out our path, cross the street to Aot, pick up the bus, then they have to go down into Lowell to the hub to get a connecting bus. So but they do not come down this road. We've looked into it. I thought they used to, but maybe I'm wrong. They come at Christmas time. I think they said they go to the mall, right? But they don't make stops. Oh. Yeah, and that's what we've what we've asked them. They will not stop up here on the main road. So, and they and they they said and I were like, okay, well, what about they won't come in here because they need a parking lot big enough because they won't back the buses up. You have to drive around. Mm. So we looked into Notre Dame. Could they go in because they've got a horseshoe driveway and have a stop put right over here that's on and Notre Dame wouldn't allow it. Afraid it was a liability if somebody fell because they're technically on Notre Dame property when they get on and off the bus. So it may have been possible when we planned for sort that we could configure, we could configure parking so the bus can turn around. <coughs> I mean, it's, it's Basically, they, they won't out. back up the bus, they want to be able to drive around. Okay. Yeah, we've got to do that. We have enough land in the back if we look at I just passed your office. Yeah, does it go all the way around? Yeah. Up, up past here, it, it comes to a dead end. And, yeah, there's a hill that goes up yeah, there. Yeah, but I thought, I thought you could go left there. No. You'd have to cut into the hill if yeah. you wanted to drive out behind those two buildings and come out over here by the garage. But you'd have to cut into that, a lot into that hill to make a, a driveway. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's more of a horseshoe than a complete circle driveway. Because mm -hmm. we even said to them, our parking lot's big enough that you can either pull up this way and back up here, back or pull in here, back up there. And that's what we were told, they don't back the buses up. Mm -hmm. Of course, isn't it? Still? Is he off of it? I don't know who that was. I don't know them. I just thought it was still off on it. Oh, I mean, well, that's easy enough to find out. Yeah, because that, that would be good. I think we have Tom Hoffman and the Ruffles if we get him. Him or Ruffles. Yeah, the Ruffles and the LRT. Yeah, I mean, they don't do anything for us. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's. It's a big issue with the wait list, so. But a lot of people know that they check off the boxes that they're in a priority situation, and when it comes time to prove it, they can't prove it. So they either don't respond or they don't give us the paperwork, so then we deny them. It's, it's not, everybody's running into the same thing. Like that. They thought the centralized wait list would be great, and it's more of a nightmare. Um, work orders, we only have five open work orders. Capital improvement projects, the septic thing really hasn't moved forward too much. Um, my guess is now we're going to be getting into winter, so they're not going to push it too much further. Um, fire, fire alarm panels, they have not come out or submitted any paperwork to the state yet since their last visit here. Um, the entry doors for the family units, bulkheads. Um, the architect was out yesterday to look at everything, take a few measurements so that he can get working more on his paperwork. Um, and then the project for out here, 
they are going out to bid again because the bids came in extremely high. Um, and they're going to change it from having concrete pavers to asphalt to kind of bring the price down because that's a little bit cheaper. But that tree right there? That tree is coming down. Conservation already wrote, signed off on it. That, yeah, the roots from it is what's caused this whole patio to, to lift and everything. On the fire alarm panels, mm -hmm. they had an issue over at right there, right? They had an issue with the panel, one that they said you would replace the panel. Mm -hmm. Did you get that resolved? Because mm -hmm. the only way to resolve it is to clean the panel. So we have and that's what's part of this project. And I had words with the fire department. They were part of the meeting with the architect, and they said they can they can live with it until this project goes through. So. Live with it, meaning how? What, what was the remedy? There's got to be a remedy. You can't keep it offline until that, right? It's not offline. It's it will bring it to the fire department just if there's a fire in the common area. Right. So why don't they can't they tie that into another zone? Well, they can't. Who's that? Yeah. No, I don't think that's true. <laughs> that's that's basic. I think that's absolutely that's true. They certainly can. John had the same conversation with John too. Uh, um, I'll check with um, a different person than the one I've been talking to. That. So yeah, you, you want to yeah, they're putting two zones on one, so that will link to the fire department. So anytime that something goes off, and you got both zones. So not, the fire department's going to have to check both zones, but at least they're both covered. Yeah. That's my. I'm pretty sure they can do that. It's, they probably won't do that for. Permanent fix, but it would be mm -hmm. temporary. All right. Oh, you got about this. Um, just the next one was just to go over some of the things that have been getting brought up that people were saying different things than what I had for information. Um, like, and I appreciate what Linda did, but I still have not seen any police activity unless there's a call. Um, the truck that matter of fact was dropped off this morning. They called yesterday to say that the door was in, so that is getting fixed. Um, and the flashing was fixed before a prior the, the, the next meeting after it had been mentioned at the meeting. Um, and then just the the incident the over at Red Pine being issued that saying that it was day to day. Didn't want to be blindsided. Um, I don't know what much more to say about it. Um, and then the evacuation plan that Linda talked about. Um, the fire chief is our emergency person. Um, and like they said, they monitor all the situations. Um, and they said that they decide when to evacuate, where to evacuate, depending on the situation. And that encouraged everybody to sign up with the Smart 911. Okay. And even the state said, the fire chief was our emergency person. They sent out a thing. Um, and then the tenant smoking detectors, I haven't heard anything more back, but I did have a company, I guess they're working up at town hall right now, um, doing some stuff. They sent me out a test one to try. Um, there'll be no charge to us. They're going to pick it up, but I haven't gotten confirmation if I can put it in an apartment yet. Um, and if it does work and we can do it, they're $1,000. They contacted me because they're up at town hall working to see if they can get some business from us. So, just to back up a little bit. So, mm -hmm. so, these items that you listed in, I think it's four, right? Mm -hmm. Was that, was this put in here just to give us an update? Yep. Okay. I'd like to receive my name a couple of times. I'd like to comment on it. Go ahead. Um, the one on the original discussion was in, in the building in this room about having the truck fixed, but it was after the meeting. Mm -hmm. like I came back in and said, mm -hmm. you know, while I think of it. Um, how long has that dent been on that truck? Since it was bought. Two years? Since 2017. It happened that winter. So, with that being said, then, 
you know, you get down a guy that's busy so on so forth. So I understand that this is 2017, 2013. Maybe that's the point I should have made. You know, because people do see the tent. And I never noticed them until, until I get mail to live at my house. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's, I just want to say that uh, as far as the flashing, um, if I was wrong, and I'll take the hit for it, but I know I looked at it a couple of times and it wasn't done. Well, I went back to when it was notated at a meeting. And then I, the work order was opened up the next day, and I have the date that it was closed. All right, that's all I have. Anybody get anything else? Uh, unfinished business discussion. Oh, a motion to accept the uh, executive director's report. There's a motion to accept the and motion to second for the discussion. Aaron C. Nunn, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And yes. All right, I am G. Unfinished business discussion on video camera. Would you like changes in my ask for? I thought it was a question mark because I don't think we can do it. I don't think the state will allow us to charge them. Okay. Three, three, no, it's no, mine. That's why I have a question mark on one of them. I don't think the state will allow us to charge them. Because I asked about charging a fee and or finding for not picking up Johnson's and they told me I couldn't. Everybody else have a comment? What was the what was no, the um, No, I I what was the fee for? So I put I, in here request for video footage for residents, guests, or other people will be reviewed for appropriateness. A reasonable fee for time and materials may be charged. So uh, yeah. uh, what I what I would suggest is we send it but I can I give you this electronically? You passed it out at the last board meeting to everyone and asked everyone to make their changes in red so that you right. can see what the changes are. Right, those, those are my changes. Talking like chronic red, but anyway, this is fine. But what I like to recommend is we ask uh, the director to make the changes in red. Oh, right? okay. Send it to the attorney. Let them come back to us. Can you send it to us too? Uh, no, so I'll send so that by email or something. If I didn't sound like funny, but I will. You did. You, you passed it out at the last meeting and gave it to everybody to make changes in red. Okay. I don't think that would change. You know, and Alan, I'll tell me answer the different color one. So pick up the second. Okay. It might say, crush the whole thing. Right, that so makes sense, everybody? Yep. Yeah. That's fine. Well, I just have questions here. I'm not sure what these ones that you are because this, yes, this information came. He didn't know what those cameras were that you were talking about. Oh, that was on them. That's what anybody responded to it. Okay. I could add it to it. Those others that come out. Okay. All right. That's so that, I always leave places. So that will come out. Yep. All right. So no one else has changed it then. Not to take case numbers, but I'm out of mind. No one else has changes. I'm going to have to, I'm going to reread it. But when you send it, I'll reread it. Yeah, then, uh, okay. So John will send it to me. Yeah, send me a reminder to come on one and I'll, then my air friend will work on something else. See, John, do you know off the top of your head, is there anything in there about um, when the executive director should and shouldn't be what, looking at the cameras? So, so she's not uh, looking at them on a daily basis. I haven't. Let it back since I, I didn't put it together. I think that's it's in there. I uh, think I've delineated I'm, that. Okay, that's my biggest concern. Uh, but I will, uh, I'm going to reread it and double check that. I see what they say. That will make the balance of the whole We 
Who did they have any uh, tenant feedback? Additional tenant feedback? Yeah, we did that a little bit. Uh, I forgot to find that movie, right? They actually want more. They want more, yeah. And we added, we added them to what they wanted. That's nice. By the way, that's nice what they did at Red Times for a small group. That, oh, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's kind of closed in now. Yeah. Well, the initial two cameras have been installed, haven't they? I don't believe so. Yeah, yeah that's all done. <clears throat> all right. Anything else on that before we move on? No. Uh, no. All right. Discussion on forming a tenant council. I looked up what one they are. It's a dump plaque on another wall. Well, it's one of the ones. Yeah, I thought it was. Just send it to the tenant. Yep. No, that was. Yeah, you had asked me to do it on the new one to review it before it went out, and I passed it on last week. Yeah. So yeah. That's why it had an October date on it, and I think by the time you reviewed it and got back to the meeting, if there were any changes and it got sent down, it would be. I don't know how to make it more, more appealing to them um, without them being overwhelmed and thinking it's too much of a commitment. So I don't know what to do with it. It is going to be basically for them out there. So. All right, well, let's see what, see what happens. Yeah. All right, anything else? On that, moving on to old business. CPC rep update on the CPC meeting. I don't believe we have one. It's not here. Affordable yeah. House Trust Committee update. Is that you, Linda? Yeah, I checked with the Clinton's uh, office. Nothing happened. Poor Jack didn't even know what I was like. <laughs> 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 well, I know when Seth was on it, they didn't meet very often. <laughs> There, well, I think that was um, something that Rick Rowe was pushing, and I'm not, I forget the reason why, but now that he's gone, that yeah. might, have been, might be going to say. And, yeah, mm -hmm. build that on it. And, well, the whole thing. I don't know what he was pushing. Well, the whole affordable housing, the numbers are a joke, because nobody can afford them anyway. Right. Uh, that's not low income, and I think that's a misconception, people. They think it's all income, it's not all income. All right, update discussion, future housing, for city nine Cold Road. We kind of already had hashed out, right? Anybody, anything else? Well, Bluebeam Lane is actually on the big point. Portable Plus, trust, yeah. right, exactly. So, do we, we don't own that anymore, right? We turn back over? We never owned it to begin with. That's right. We were trying mm -hmm. to get them to sign all the documents, and they weren't doing it, so then it got turned over to the Affordable Trust to see if they could move forward, and I think running into the same yeah, they were, they road were, blocks that we were. Yeah, one of them even town manager and that. It's being done by Eric Soberna. Yeah, 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 do we, do we want to change change the time? And, and I don't know who's thinking of what changing the time. I think we would have to do it. Residents are able to count that. Changing it earlier or earlier? Early, early, early. The question now is how many residents really care about the Tate Brown Housing Authority? I would vote all. Well, I would vote all of them. Well, when they all are, what happens? It's two different things. They all live there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they drive by and say, oh, hi. Can I just suggest that if that's the issue, uh, maybe we, we kick it down, postpone it, because it's, it's going to get darker. And I don't think that people are going to want to come out in the winter. Not, not a good time. Maybe in the spring, we can revisit it, when people might be more acclimated to think about it. 
if it's for the tenants, if we want more tenant participation. But we we talk about making it at say five o'clock or say six o'clock. You know what I mean? Because five o'clock is not doable for me. I don't got yeah. one I can see it today. I I'm not getting here until five thirty. We're going to keep this one way or the other. Um, I kind of want those part time. Oh, we'll just, you know what, we'll just leave it there. We'll have a discussion with John. Yeah, I'm ready. We'll move on to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have four. No, we're still at 4.30. It's always been 4.30 sometimes. Well, I guess, I know all the means I have are seven, but it doesn't mean that's well, there's something like this. So all all meetings that I've ever been always with later uh, yeah. six or seven o'clock. Uh, but when I first got on, they were at five, and I asked them to six, and they compromised at five thirty. So that's how we got to five thirty. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't We're going to take a lot. Yeah, we're going to do that till, uh, till John's on. All right, new business. Anybody? Yeah. yeah so. Oh. We have a problem with this? Us? Pass them off, please. Oh. <laughs> this is the second, maybe, no, I've got mine. Second or third time. When I come back last week, that was hung on my door. On my door. To my apartment. That thing was on my door. Who we'll put it there? It must have been the executive director's orders, I believe. Was it? Mrs. Bond from Mount Lindsay. All right. Yeah, we put it. Okay, up. because we've been having the issue. With, it okay. was brought up at the last meeting. Oh, the issue over there. Now, case in point. Last night we had an emergency call there, up by my building. Car parked in front of her place. All right. The ambulance, the fire truck, the police car, and another car was coming up, and there was cars parked there. So I mean. Does anybody read these things when we get them? I guess not. So, I mean, we talked about the executive directors and what you're trying to do for this place. That's one of those things I just want to bring up to show you that it is being done. She does her job. But are the people responding? Evidently not. I sat in my apartment the other day. Three cars parked outside my door for over an hour and a half, Saturday and Sunday. How do they take care of that? I'm not going to the director. It's up to the director. Okay, director, what are we going to do about it? Can we get the car stolen? Well, it's a safety. Could we take and put out a, some kind of a form hanging on their windshield? Next time you will be told. I mean, people aren't responding. Okay, it's the same thing that goes on all year round. In the winter time, if we're heading to, to now, it's going to get even worse. All right, if there was two cars parked on, on each side of that road up there the other night, the ambulance and the fire truck would have got, depending on who got there first. Okay, and they do park on both sides of the road. Where, uh, where are they supposed to be parking? You're talking visitors. Right? Visitors parking. Where are the tents in each other spot? They're on the side parking. And the visitors are supposed to be down there. Down there. So we're talking about visitors, not tenants. We're talking about visitors. Okay. Okay. I mean, if somebody comes up and drop off a couple of kids and they stay there 10 or 15 minutes, it doesn't bother because they're going to be moving, they're going to leave it. But I mean, when they come and they're sitting there for two hours all day long, nighttime. So the, the issue is, I mean, obviously, we have just got to turn the day when the officers will be called. So but after hours, what do we do? And that's when he says it's happening, is it when the office is closed? So, what is the test? Well, it's, I, it's evident I, that the, the, the tenants 
are not telling their visitors to park in a visitor's parking lot. Can't I think we, that's pretty simple. Uh, every time we come up with some kind of policy, then the, the state says we can't do that. It's in our parking policy. We can't. We already know. I think. Yes, it, they can't. But what parking visitor parking? But we'll it's their policy is what we do after that. that if, if they are parked, they get that's a warning. Right. If they park two times, they get a, a fine. Can we can we find them? Well, the, 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 I would say we notify the police and have it so. Okay. Right. That's. That, I mean, the, we, the housing only authority itself. Once. The housing authority itself can do that. Turn the video. The, the police will day. only tow it if it's blocking. The access, like the one that happened at Red Pine. We can enhance our signage on a building. As a stop and show. As long as it says no parking and we're calling, we we need to. That it's out, we can do it ourselves. We don't because it's private property, we don't need that. Yeah, we don't have to have police help, but we can, no, we can, we can, we can do it unless the tow company. We have enough signage you can tow. Yeah, it, 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 even, even, even better, I we could make an agreement with the tow company right. and tell them, you know, they, they'll drive through every whatever, right? If you see a car back here or here. So we can do that. So I, I think we need to make a, maybe add that to the policy. Um, but we can we can do that. And we can establish it and get it out so we know we're serious. Well, I mean, don't be able to do that. Do you think that would work? work? I think that would work. Excuse me. I mean, you got to put the fear of God in some of these people because they do it constantly. I mean, I have a bike in there all. Every time I come here, you've been here three years, I park here every day, that's it. I'm just going to park there. I mean, I see some people, men, they've got little kids, they'll park out front here, they'll park over there, but they get a lot the kids. It might be the last building up there, but they walk up there. Okay? But there's a constant ones every single day and every weekend and every time. Same thing here, same thing park up on the other side, too. You put them up sign and stop going. Look at that. We had told in the park when I listened. Oh, so I think we going to be aggressive. Yeah, I mean, that's, if it's that bad, then yeah, that's it, we do that. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion. We have more signage. Um, or if we have signage that's faded. Yeah, and then, and then, we, and then <laughs> the second part of that, that, that this will be strictly enforced. And that's it. Send a letter to the people and the board voted on it. And, Violators will be towed. Period. Yeah. And we don't have to give notice. If back there, we took, we, if we make that agreement with the with the tow company, they're going to come through. They see somebody, they're going to they're going to hook them, and then people are going to get get tied up. Yeah. I mean, this is what. Why aren't the tenants responding? That there's, you know, because they're going to get them on a wallet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Maybe that's what you have to do. Now, do we have to establish a time that they, you know, I don't want to make them be time. No black and 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 no So if they've got I mean, the street, they're allowed to. Most of the time, when you drop up, they got, well, that's you come in, you get your groceries and it's that, you're going to be there 15, 20 minutes. And then out of your building with, with bags. But there's a body there. What? If there's a body, so what? if there's. You have an ambulance coming, they can say, you know, somebody's coming. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. But the lines, that they're readable, and they're visible. When people are parking them, we can use that as an excuse for us, not like, not like the officer. No, they're signed right out there. Probably we go out tonight, there might be somebody parked up there. They, uh, well, I don't think so. Anyway, I mean, well, they don't say violators will be towed, right? So maybe we need to change. Just say that he's over here in front. Right here. Oh, and I, 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 oh, or at least a smaller sign that goes on. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, that instead of redoing that whole sign. Yeah, a sticker or something. 
need a motion. Does it help you? There is a motion. Now, if you pass the first one, we're going to run over the second one. So, that goes back to my point of making a great motion. So company, they jack two on the weekends and they see if you're on the hook. We don't even we don't have to call. They're not on <laughs> We don't have to call, right? We say if you see somebody back there and there, so automatically. I was just came up last month over at Red Pine and I told that because he always is called and he's, he's in a wheelchair, so he has a ride that comes to pick up. That's why I said to him, you just give me the date and time, I'll go on the camera, see which tenant it is, and speak to them. If it's not a tenant, then I can. If it's a visitor, I can see who they're visiting once they get inside the building, which apartment they're going to. Because technically, it's the tenant's responsibility to, they're, they're reliable for the actions of their guests. Right. So, the next step, we're going to get the signs signed. They're going to add oh, violators okay. will be towed. Now, how do we go about getting a tow company? How do we decide who to get? Well, I don't know. Uh, do we think that needs to be bid? For the tow, huh? Well, we're not paying for the tow. Well, we're not paying for the tow. Then we're not paying for it when it's not coming out of our pocket. No. Then what, maybe we shouldn't have to vote for this. So we just want to contract with them. Well, except for the owner's traffic. Well, there's no one that I've heard that just overnight parking will, by the way, it will be towed at all its expense. Yeah. Yeah. So. We're supposed to go this. Yeah. Tow that all the expense. Up on the is it does they tow? Is there any but this was down the middle section, I'm not sure. I don't know if Ryan says I know I know Joe does across the yeah. you should have two I assume we'd be doing it both house and both project. Yeah, we could set up we could use different We could bonds. do one for each side. Yeah. We do that. And then I'll call out that the board voted on today's date. That's the way it is. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to go back on that. But, yeah. but same thing. That's number one. And once the signs are set up, then we need to just decide which will come to the board. All right. So, we get anything else on that? We're good? To the... We just need to vote. We have the motion and the second, and we'll vote. Um, yeah, there's a motion and a second. All in favor of the motion? Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. All right. Other business? Anyone? No. Next board meeting, October 25th, 2023, 530 Red Line. Detain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second, motion made, second, further discussion, we have to do now, all in favor? Thank you and good night.